what would life be without blood? Oh, that's a silly question because we wouldn't be here nor with any mammals or actually any vertebrate. In fact, it is fundamental to our survival and so we need to know all about it. You should already know that blood consists of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets and plasma. But if you are forgotten, then watch our What is Blood video first. In this video, we are going to look at white blood cells in particular. These are our warriors, the army inside our body that protects us from infectious diseases and foreign invaders. They may only make up 1% of our blood, but my gosh, they are so important. Our body has a first line of defense, which we saw in the video on human defense system against pathogens. But when this fails, our white blood cells kick into action. White blood cells are the cells of our immune system. There are two types of white blood cells, phagocytes and lymphocytes. Phagocytes have a multi-lobe nucleus within the cytoplasm. They are made of your bone marrow and they actively seek out to engulf bacteria. They will even squeeze out of the blood through the capillary walls to reach out infected tissue. Nothing stops these cells when they are on a charge. They will often die loaded with bacteria that they have engulfed and killed. In boils and cuts, this is seen as yellow pus. There are different types of phagocytes, with neutrophils being the most common. Lymphocytes have a huge nucleus and just a little cytoplasm. They are formed in lymph nodes and are found all around the body, such as in your armpits and neck. Invading pathogens contain a chemical on their surface called antigens. The lymphocytes detect this and produce antibodies in response to it. The antibodies stick to the surface of the pathogen and kill it, either by making it easier for the phagocytes to ingest them or making the pathogen burst open, making the pathogens clump together, which turns them into a sticky mess and makes it easier for phagocytes to find them. Each antibody is very specific. It will only attack one type of bacteria. Other lymphocytes produce antitoxins which combine with the invaders toxins and make them harmless. Sometimes the body cannot produce antibodies naturally or fast enough and so we can have vaccinations to help us out. We will look at vaccination in another video. They may only be 1% of our blood but our white blood cells can really pack a punch. You just need to remember that phagocytes engulf pathogens and lymphocytes produce antibodies and antitoxins.